So this is what is uh, what is a stochastic process? See, a stochastic process is nothing but a sequence of random variables, okay, where the sequence the index of the sequence has the interpretation of time. Okay. So, so you can say that a stochastic process is a sequence of random variables indexed by Okay. Now, this time, what this, what I'm talking of as time, right, could be <coughs> discrete or continuous. Okay. So, there may be some uh, the stochastic process may be you may be observing it only every minute or every hour or whatever right. In that case the time index is a discrete index. So, it will be indexed for example, by in integers or it could be continuous right in which case it could be indexed by r or r plus right you may be if you are continuously observing something as opposed to sampling it at integer times or whatever right. So, this time index could be discrete or continuous. Uh, so, if the time index is discrete it is exactly really the sequence that we have already seen right. So, you have some omega f p In all of this the omega f p is already defined okay. from this omega f p a sequence <coughs> Uh, x 1, x 2, x 3 dot 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 realizes. Okay. Every time a little omega is chosen and the sequence x 1 of omega, x 2 of omega, x 3 of omega realizes. Okay. Except that this now <coughs> this index now has the interpretation of time. Okay. That is all there is. So, you can just speak of uh, in the notation we will just write uh, for a discrete time stochastic process we will just write x n n greater than or equal to 1 is a discrete time stochastic process okay, defined on this probability space. It is nothing but a sequence of random variables that we have already seen. Okay. All right, clear? So, whenever little omega realizes you have a real sequence realizing for some other little omega you get some other real sequence. Okay. So, a discrete uh, uh, stochastic process in discrete time is nothing but a sequence of random variables indexed by some natural numbers okay. and a continuous time stochastic process is, is also a sequence of random variables except this sequence is not indexed by n, but it is indexed by an uncountable index okay. it is indexed by r or something. right? So, if uh, continuous time, so this is for discrete time, right? Uh, for continuous time, you have let us say t belongs to r or t belongs to r plus, right? x of t. is a stochastic process. You can just view as I mean <coughs> in continuous time we write x bracket t. You could just as well write x subscript t there is nothing wrong with that. Okay. The only difference between the previous case and the case where I mean the x of t uh, now this t is running over some uncountable index set r or r plus 
typically R or R plus. Okay. In the previous case, it was running over a countable set, right, which is the integers. Okay. So what happens here is that so in this case for this is for the continuous continuous time okay for each realization omega x of t comma omega is a what is it it's you fix a little omega x of t comma omega becomes is a function right okay so for each little omega you get a different function right so just to draw out something this is time so i'm just drawing some continuous stochastic continuous time stochastic process so let's say that some so this may be x of t comma omega 1 okay and for a different value of omega you may get a this could be x of t comma omega 2 okay So, I want to emphasize that there is only see there is a little omega that realizes and the entire sequence x t as indexed by a continuous time t realizes. Okay. So, basically an entire function realizes. Okay. I am drawing this over r plus, but it could just as well be r or something okay. <coughs> or a bounded interval or in interval on r all that is okay. okay. So, each time a little omega realizes you get a different function. Now, on the other hand if you fix a particular value of t naught sorry for each fix t naught x of t naught is what you are fixing a t naught you are looking at <coughs> what is x of t naught right x of t naught will depend on little omega okay so x of t naught is a is a random variable See, just like in the discrete case, if you fix some i, x i is a random variable, right? Here, i is not an integer, but some t naught. That's all. Okay. So, bottom line is x of t is a stochastic process. Uh, uh, means that for each realization little omega, you get a different function at a high level, and if you if you just fix a t, you get a random variable. Okay, it is after all just a sequence of random variables indexed by the t, right. As of course, if you fix both t naught and omega, you get a number, right, you can just get a number, okay. So, that is really what a stochastic process is, okay. It is a sequence of random variables indexed by a indexed by time, the time could be discrete or continuous, that is all. Now, in this course, I, mean, I said that we will deal with discrete stochastic processes. We will basically just deal with <coughs> Poisson processes, renewal processes, okay, and Markov chains. Okay, these are basically the three stochastic processes we'll study. Now, in Markov chains, we are going to study uh, Markov chains which have state spaces which are finite or countable. So, uh, in in those cases the value taken by the stochastic process will be constrained in a discrete set okay and in the case of poisson and random poisson process or renewal process uh, the time index is continuous okay 
but the values taken by the stochastic process again will be constrained in a discrete set it will be integer valued or you know some countable set value taking values in a countable set ok. So, in this course we will we are not going to encounter uh, we are not going to encounter continuous time continuous state uh, continuous valued random uh, random process like Brownian motions and all that we are not going to study ok only discrete stochastic process. So, either n or the values taken by the process will be in a discrete set ok.